Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a new form of line today, Gemma lines, which seem to have been invented by Gemma Oane. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that name right. I assumed originally when we first did puzzles by Gemma Oane that they were Maori or something, but I now think they may be Eastern European, so um, I'm probably mispronouncing that name. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to this puzzle. It was recommended to us specifically by Verdant Landscape. So thank you for that. Um, and apparently very interesting puzzle. We're really looking forward to giving it a try. Now, if you do like Lion Sudoku, you won't find any Gemma lines, but you will find region sum lines and many other lines on our Lion Sudoku app. And it's really good stuff. So do, do check it out. It's on the links. Um, if you go to the CTC app and download that, you will find it as one of the available uh, downloads within that. So do do consider our, our well, all our Sudoku apps. They're great fun. And on Patreon, we will be bringing you a new challenge, of course, on the first of the month. It will be, by Demono, it will be another story. Not quite as long as the last one, but we think it'll be very entertaining as well and uh, we encourage you to challenge yourself with it. Um, there are other links in our description field, including to Sven Sudoku Pad, our merchandise and the Discord server. Oh, and some more news on the AI infiltration on the Discord server. Seems like it's something to do with Hildegard, somebody or other. We don't know if it's a real person or some AI posting stuff, so keep an eye out. Um, and the first link under the video is to this puzzle. Equilibrium 2, it's called, by Gemma Oane. And the rules are as follows. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so we'll be putting one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Um, and what else have we got? We've got cells separated by XVs this time, which unsurprisingly, for those of you who know your Roman numerals, sum to 15. I couldn't replicate the black diamonds from the original, so I'm, I've used XV. Uh, so those two sum to 15, for instance. Um, now, these purple lines are not Renban lines, they're Gemma lines. Digits on them must not repeat. And for each digit on the line, the counter digit, 10 minus X, must also appear on the line. For example, if 3 is on the line, 7 is also on the line. Okay? Digits along a blue line, these are normal region sum lines. They sum to the same value in each 3x3 three three box the line passes through. Different lines can have different totals. So those three digits will add up to the same as those two. And that's it. We get one given eight in the puzzle. Thank you, Gemma. And um, give it a try. Fascinating idea for a puzzle. I am going to give it a go now. And let's get cracking. Um... Okay, first thing I'm going to do is fill in 6, 7, 8, 9 as the candidate numbers on the 15 cells. Which isn't very informative. Okay, let's think about these Gemma lines then. Okay, so this one. Yeah, okay, there's, a, there's clearly a distinction to be, draw, to be drawn between odd length Gemma lines and even length. Gemma lines. And I think that distinction is going to revolve around the number five. Um, so if five is on the line, it'll appear once only because digits aren't allowed to repeat. But obviously it's counter digits already there. And that will allow there to be an odd number of cells on the line. So I think there must be a five on this line and then two digits that add up to ten. On this line, which is six cells long, I don't think five does appear. So I think five must be in one of those cells in box three. And it's kind of going to be the same... Th Whoa, no, not so sure here. It's not on that line, because that's four. But there is a five somewhere on this line. And then there's no five on these even length lines, but there is a five somewhere on this one. Not, I mean, if it had gone into three boxes, there could even have been three fives on it, I suppose, but it doesn't. Oh, no, they couldn't. You can't have a repeat number on a Gemma line. I don't even know what the rules are yet. I'm learning them as we go along. 
Okay, so I don't know how to pencil. I wanted to put a pencil marked five into one of those cells, but I can't do it. Um, well, five in this box is in one of those three. Yeah, it's not quite enough information to go on. Okay, but we'll, I, I'll leave that out for now, but we'll think about these fives, I'm sure, fairly soon. Now, there is a five in one of those three cells because of how this all works. Actually, let, let's have another think about this line. This has, has to add up to 30, because each digit has its counter digit. So that's three of the sets that add up to 10. The sets that add up to 10 are 1, 9, 2, 8, 3, 7, and 4, 6. Three of them must appear on this line. And the other pair, along with a 5, must appear on this line. So the region sum for this line is 15. And these are like an XV. They must add up to 15 as well because of the region sum line rule. So that is not a 5. So 5 is in one of those two cells. These two are another XV like the ones we've got and and I think it is worth coloring the the XV pairs so let's have a purple and a oh I didn't mean to color them all the same color right if those two are the purple pair that makes 15 be that 6 9 or 7 8 then this pair is the green pair this member this pair must also be a green pair because that one can't be purple oh bother okay maybe it's not worth doing it because i can't extend that into these i don't know can i all oh, right okay in this box think about the four big digits the four digits over five two of them are on this gemma line because that has two high digits and two low digits and the other two are there so these digits are all from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One of them is a 5 somewhere. Down in this box, it's a similar story. Two high digits there, so these are all lowish. Ah, we can probably go around. Yes, again, two high digits here and two here. So these are all lowish. Now there's got to be a high digit on this line. There must be one high, one low, and one five. Don't know how to mark that. There is a high digit on this line, and it is purple. In fact, it is that digit appears on this line. Ah, and therefore it also appears up here with its counterpart digit. Oh, that's really weird. Okay, there's roping at the top, I think. See if this makes sense to you. These three cells are 5x. No, not x. Okay, let's call it y, which is this big digit, which also appears here. Because that's those cells see these three high numbers, so the other high number must appear there. So that digit appears there, and we're calling it Y. And Y's counterpart digit, its counter digit in adding up to 10, I am going to call B. So I'm putting Y, this is Y. Um, these include Y. And by Sudoku, these include Y. Y's counterpart digit its counter digit is B. That's also in this group. It's also in this group because they have to add up to 15 as well. And therefore, it's in here with 5. And that's a low digit. So that's giving us a start here. These add up to 6, 7, 8, or 9. So these also add up to... S no, we've got roping. We've got roping because that's 5B and Y. This is 5B and Y. That's 5B and Y. And that roping is when you get the same three digits across each... repeating three times across three boxes. Braiding has been suggested as a more accurate description, but we didn't invent the term roping. It is just called that, so... 
we keep using it. Um, now, this is very odd. What is going on here? This group of cells ropes there and there. Because once one group ropes, the others have to. Ah, yes. What that means is that, well, what happens is that these are the same set of digits. Now, that's very interesting because we just worked out that this adds up to six, seven, eight, or nine. But look at these two sets of digits. They must include two highs. So you can't put them both here, but one of them is going here to add up to six, seven, eight, or nine. And the other one is going here. That must be a high digit. It's either that green or that purple. And the other one of those is on this line, along with something, something low that is not its counter digit. Oh, I don't know, I feel, like, I feel like we're getting close to this now. But I'm a bit stuck actually. <laughs> let's, let's move out of this area. I'm gonna leave all that marking because it, it's sort of clear to me what's going on. I'm sorry if, if it's confused anybody else. Now, okay, let, let's just quickly think. We've used one high digit here, one here, one here. We're going to use another one here from those two. So these are two low digits and they don't include five, which is over here or up here. So these are from four, three, two, and one. And the maximum they can add up to is seven. So the maximum for these three cells is seven. This is either one, two, three, or one, two, four. We're definitely gonna be using one and two there. So this is not one or two. These add up to six or seven. So they've got to include a four, and either, a th they can't include a one, either a three, it could be three there, four there, or four here, and two or three here. Now, hang on a sec. If this was one, two, four, seven, that's three and that's four. If this is one, two, three, that's four and that's two. So that can never be three. And we've got this one, two, three, four quadruple going on down column one. What does that do? Ah, oh, this puzzle's getting really complicated, in my head at least. Oh, these two are not high. Because all the high digits are gone in this, yeah, they're all gone in this column. So, those can't include a five. Five in the column is in one of those two cells. They are low. These two are high. And they add up to 15, because that pair of high digits adds up to 15. So this does. So this pair adds up to 5. I can't keep all this information in my head anymore. Now, is this purple or green as a pair? If it's purple, then that's a purple pair. If it's green, then that's a green cell as well. I can't tell. I don't know if I can tell. I don't see how. But this is a pair that adds up to 15. Okay, I'm, I'm going to colour these pairs now. That is a pair that adds up to 15. I don't know whether it's green or purple, so I'm going to use different colours. Orange and bright blue. That one is orange. This one is bright blue. This one must be bright blue because both cells see that orange cell. And now look, we get a bright blue pair must be in these cells, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's weird. There must be one orange cell here and a low digit or a five. Um, orange digits in this row. Well, this is an orange digit because this row needs one, row five needs one, and there's another orange digit up here somewhere. 
um, in one of those three. And their two orange counterparts are both up there. And the two, oh, am I going to have to colour orange counterparts? I've get, I'm getting too many colours now. I'm scared of colouring the orange counterparts. Gosh, and I don't know where fives are. Wow, this puzzle is really beginning to confuse me now. I wish I knew whether purple and green were orange and blue or vice versa. If you see what I mean. Now, five is either in one of those cells or there. And five is either there or there. So if five is in one of those cells, it's there. And this must be the same pair, both sides of the line. If five is there, Hmm, I can't quite rule out five being there. I'm wondering if I can make these two definitely the same digits in both places. I don't know, don't know the answer. Oh, this has confused me. How can I make any pro? I didn't focus enough on these, right. Ah, and four isn't on them. Right, this is five and a low digit. And this features a high digit. Whose color I probably know if I think about it, although I'm not certain I do. No, I don't, I don't know how I know its color. I don't think I do. Ah, I'm so confused by this now. Oh, that can't include a two, because eight would need to be on its line. I haven't really thought about this eight. That can't be an eight. Um, it's not doing a lot else, is it? Well, oh, a bit. Eight has to be in one of those cells in box four. So it has to be in one of those two in box one. Now, what does that mean? I don't know. Oh, one of those two. Okay, so it can't be there. So, doesn't mean it can't be green. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so there's an orange digit in these cells. Ah, and these can't be from one, two, three, four. That's quite interesting. They've got to include a five. There are only two high digits on this line. One of them is there, and at least one must be here, along with something else that isn't one, two, three, four. So five must be in these cells, um, along with six, seven, or nine as the other high digit. So that is not a five. Uh, I was going to say it's also not an eight, but eight could be Y, so I don't know that. One, two, three, four, five. So this is high as well, because it, and it's not eight. These are selected from five, six, seven, and nine. And these are the other two high digits. That is high as well, isn't it? This is definitely a high digit. Six, seven, eight, or nine. So these are five and a low digit that isn't four. So that can't be a six on this, in this group of three. That can't be a six. Six is not in this group of three. We can't have a six there. So either that is a six it's now not a 9 by the 15 rule. Um, that's not getting me very far. Right, come on. 1 and 2 are definitely here. So there is a low digit here and a low digit here. And this is low as well. And is the counterpart to whichever one of... 
the high digits appears there or the one that appears there. Uh, it's not getting me very far. I've got this blue line, which I haven't thought about at all. And this is a 10 line, basically. It just adds up to 10. One of these must be low, at least that's really not very helpful. This is the low digit on a Gemma line, or a 5, of course. I'd forgotten that possibility. Ah. Now, if that was a 5, these would all be low. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I need to think of something else. It's easier in a way for orange. Oh, no. If orange was green, then those two are greeny orange. But if orange is purple, those two are both orange. Ooh. Right, if orange is the same as purple, then these two are orange, and these two are the same as those two to go, they're the counter digits to orange. Then they would both have to go here. Is that possible? I think it is. But it's a thing worth thinking about. So if these were green, the counter digits to green would both be here. And then they'd both have to be here. They wouldn't go on this line with the counter digits to the other color. So what would happen to those in box two? I don't know, that's a bit more variable. Is it possible for these two to be the same as those two? Or is that impossible for some reason? I cannot see the reason why it would be impossible. I'm just missing some connection. But we're getting close. I feel we're getting close. This is tough. It's a very, very interesting and intractable problem. Goodness, if you've seen a way to proceed, then I may have to apologize. So let's think about this line again, which started us all off, really. That is five and <clears throat> high, low digit B. Oh, it can't be a five one pair because that would be 2, 4 and would break that cell. So B is not a 1. So Y is not a 9. And that is not a 9. And that is not a 9. And now the purple pair are a 7, 8 pair for sure. That's very interesting. Very unexpected. Right. 5, 7 and 8 up here. I can probably remove my lettering. I'm going to do it. This is 5, 2, or 5, 3, using the counter digit. No, sorry. This is, yeah, these are 5 and either 7, 3, or 2, 8. These are 5 and the same thing, and so are these. Now, these either add up to 8 or 7. If they added up to 7, this couldn't be a 4-3 pair, or that cell would break, so it would, would be a 1-6 pair. If these add up to 8... Oh, bother, this could be 1-7 or 2-6. Ah, oh, is that really not resolved? I thought this was all going to resolve. There's definitely a five there. Oh, is this, yeah, no, no, I was gonna say, anyway, we got the purple is seven, eight, so green is six, nine. Yes. 
Now that's probably not going to sort out blue and orange because I don't see how it could actually. Which is annoying. But purple is 7, 8. Do I need to colour these twos and three? I don't know how to do it in a way. I suppose... Oh yes, look, look. One of two or three goes there. And the other one goes here, because this is either a 4-2 or a 4-3 pair. So neither of them goes here, so there is no 2 there. This is either 1-6 with a 2-5 or 1-7 with a 3-5. The other way I could have done that is by noting they're the only two cells where 1 could go in the box. That puts 1 somewhere up here, not in that cell, and 1 is in this cell. There's my first digit in the puzzle. That's a weird, a weird one, not even on a marking. I don't know. Um, right. What does that do, if anything? Probably not anything. Now, this is either 1, 6 or 1, 7. There's definitely a 1 there. There's definitely a 1 there. 1 is up here. Doesn't say anything about where 9 is on this line, as far as I know. This is either five, two. So one of these is a green six, nine. And it's very important to know which one. If it's there, green is the same as orange. And if it's here, green is the same as blue. And that is such a strange relationship. Oh, well, I mean, I've got purple and green at least figured out. Why can't I get orange and blue? Purple is the 7-8 pair. So this pair, this group of cells, is 7-8 along with its counterpart, counter digits 2 and 3. So 2 and 3 are not in this group, which are 1, 4 and 5. So this pair adds up to 5, 6 or 9. Now, how does that limit this pair? Okay, if that was a 1-4 pair, which is one possibility, then that's a 5. That's 2 or 3. Ah, brilliant. If that's a 1-4 pair, that's a 5 and that has to be 4. And now these can't add up to 9 without using a 4. So that is not a 1-4 pair. That's a 2-3 pair. This is therefore the 7-8 pair. And we've got the colour. It is purple. Orange has become purple. Bright blue has become bright green. And these ones are 6-9 pairs. And... Purple has to go here. Um, right, now, two and three can come out of all of those cells. Mm, doesn't These are going to be exactly the same two digits, finally, I've established. It's taken me a long time to get that far. This is not two or three. That is a four. There's my second digit in the grid, a very surprising one again. Again, not on a marking or anything like it. Um, <laughs> not very helpful. That's probably rude. No, hang on, it is helpful because one of those is now a four. And these two have to be the same digits. So that is a four. And that's not. But. But what then? I hope you can't hear the annoying scaffolding alarm that suggests the guys are not even in business today, which is very annoying. Now, that's a 145 triple, so this isn't where 5 goes in box 2, so that is where 5 goes. And we've got this 6-9 pair, that is 2 or 3. 
And two and three have now both been used up here. In fact, we know that purple is... Oh yeah, but we don't know which purple is which up here. So I still can't resolve those. But two, three and five get used there, along with either seven or eight. This is a six or nine. I might as well colour it green. hasn't resolved all this stuff somehow. Just got a few limp, loose digits in the grid. Oh, goodness. Okay, right. Where are we next? That is a 7 or an 8, isn't it? It's whatever this is. Oh, I might need to colour individual digits now. That's a bit annoying, actually. Um, one of those is purple, one of these is purple. I'm going to colour that. That's green. Ooh. Ooh, do we know? No, one of those is... I was wondering if I knew these colours. I don't think I do, but we've got two greens down this column, so that can't be a six. Now, these will include a five, and what colours would you say? Or what colour is eight? Do I know that in the columns? I don't think I do. I do know that that's not an eight, but not that exciting. Oh, that's not an eight either. If eight is on this row, it's in the corner. Um... And it'll be eight to five. Oh, gosh. I'm glad you like this verdant landscape. I think I'm struggling quite badly. Oh, I've got this blue line with a six or a nine on. Now, is this, are the six possibilities ruled out? Ah, there's a five in one of those cells. This line needs a five on, and it can't be there. So it's in box six. And this row needs a five in. I think we know where that is now. That is here. So this is a one, that's a five. This is a one, that's a four. This blue line works. That is not a one. This is not a four. What about this pair? Right, so yes, this has the two purples on, doesn't it? So it also has the two Counter digits to purple, two and three are up there. So that is a one, four pair. And this digit is two or three. So one, which has to go somewhere in this group, is now there. That alarm has stopped, which is good. Um, two and three are both there. So this is a four, aha. So this line adds up to seven, one, two, four. This one adds up to seven by being three, four. This doesn't have a three on and therefore doesn't have a seven on and is two, five, eight. And we know that eight goes in the corner and is the color purple. Thank you, Alice Walker. Um, this digit is don't know, it could still be a seven. It's not eight, okay. But eight two five is the roped triple, isn't it? So that's an eight two five set, that's a seven, that's eight, that's a two, that's a three. Seven is the total, so it is six and one. These blue lines are great when you finally get some purchase. That's a nine, that's a six, that's a nine, that's a six, that's a nine. That's not nine or six, that's seven, which comes out of this set, which are a five, six, nine. Now, I was about to say we can't put nine on that line because we can't put one here, but we could put one here. Five, six, nine, one, four. These are, I don't know, well, they don't include a two, so the only two in this row is going to have to be there. Two, six, nine, five, 
three, right. So they do include a three. Oh, that's really interesting. That's the low digit here. They do include a three, but where is seven going to go on this line? Well, it can't go in any of those cells according to the pencil marking. So I think this is a three seven pair. That is very helpful, I think. I might be wrong, but it feels it to me. This is now a 5-8 pair. We know the order. I can sort of do my colouring per the plan. That fixes 5 and 2 up at the top. 9 and 6 are resolved. 1, 3, 7 still to place. Ah, we've got 3 and 7 there, so that has to be a 1. This is now a 5-9 pair. And that's a six in the corner. Now this is coming. This is lovely. What a clever puzzle. Six there with a one there. This is a two, four pair. Three and two. This digit, no, three or seven, not sure. Gosh, look at it unfold. I love it. Love it when it all comes together. Now, that is not a 6-4 pair or a 1-9 pair or an 8-2 pair. So that is a 3-7 pair. Oh, that 9-5's been disambiguated. That has to be a 6 because of this 2-4 pair. That's 2. 7 there. 8 and a 9 in the row. These add up to 10. 2 and 8 must do that. I think we're finishing off now. I actually do. 3 and 7, let's just get that colouring right. There we go. Um, I suppose I could keep colouring 8s and 7s just for consistency and completion. Um, this is a 5-1 pair. 1 in the corner. That's 9-6, that's 1-4. 237, that one's not a 2. 258, that must be 5. That's 8, that's 2. Let's get the colouring right there as well. Now, this is a 349 triple. They can just go in. 493. This is a 176 triple. And I can now do them. Colour the 7 purple. So that's not purple or 7. That's not two. This must all be done. That is a seven. And that definitely is fully purple. These have no colour. Two and three. Right. And I think I've got one digit to go. Let's, let's just get all the colouring done to, uh, to be completionist about it. Nine, six. Nine, six everywhere. There we go. And this becomes a three, and that is the solution, I reckon. Looks good as far as I can tell. 34 solvers, fantastic. What a clever puzzle. That really is quite deep. Took me over half an hour to do. I didn't expect that at the start, and I didn't expect it to unfold in the manner it did. Um, I am just going to check these lines, given that solution message. Eight, two, five. One nine seven three four six fifteen fifteen seven 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 one and nine three and seven on that one two and eight three and seven two and eight three and seven loads of the four cell lines were two three seven eight lines probably all of them brilliant anyway there we go I think that's it so thank you very much as always for watching hope to see you again soon on the channel and uh, bye for now.